Today we talked about the mean value theorem. The mean value theorem is a lot like Rolle's theorem, except it doesn't require that your two y values are the same. So you have some a and b on the x axis, some x equals a, x equals b, let's say a is smaller, and you have a function that's continuous and differentiable, then we know that if we take the average rate of change that's given by this function, there's some point between a and b where the instantaneous rate of change is exactly the same as the average rate of change. As an example, let's take the function x to the minus one-third. f of one is one, and f of eight, this is one over the cubed root of eight, which is one over two. Now between one and eight, this function is continuous and it's differentiable, so the mean value theorem tells us that there exists some c between one and eight with the following property, that the derivative at that value is exactly equal to the average rate of change of the function from one all the way to eight. And that's just a half minus one over seven, which is minus one over 14. Once I have the derivative, I can solve for which c makes the derivative minus one over 14. And that c is 14 over three, to the three over four. Now just to check that this is really the C the mean value theorem is talking about, this should be between one and eight, and we can cheat a little and ask Google. Indeed, Google tells us that 14 thirds to the three over four is three point something. It's definitely between one and eight. We do have to be a little bit careful with the mean value theorem. Suppose instead of f of eight, I think about f of minus one. This is one over the cube root of minus one, which is gonna be minus one. And if I try to apply the mean value theorem, it'll tell me there's some C between minus one and one, so that the derivative of my function is equal to F of one minus F of minus one over one minus minus one, because this is the average rate of change. And this would give us one. Now this may or may not be true, but the mean value theorem is not going to tell us this because on the interval from minus one to one, this function is not continuous, it is not differentiable. This function is not defined at zero, so it certainly doesn't have a derivative at zero. And it's true, uh, we can check that this derivative is not going to give us a value of one between one and minus one. If we try and find which c we're talking about, we solve minus one third c to the minus four thirds equals one, and we run into a problem because c to the four thirds is going to be a non-negative number. It can't be negative because it's the cube root of c raised to the power four and anything raised to the power four won't be negative, so this can never be one third. So the mean value theorem does not tell us there's a c between minus one and one where the derivative of our function is equal to its average rate of change, and the reason is that over this interval from minus one to one, our function is discontinuous.